we have another breaking trade. The Los Angeles Angels are staying active, this time acquiring outfielder Randall Gritchick and first baseman CJ Crone from the Rockies in exchange for right-handed pitcher Jake Madden and left-handed pitcher Mason Albright. Before we get started, you guys know the drill. Hit that like and subscribe. The Angels, they are active, man. This is the place you want to be when they go out and make another trade and when we know when Shohei, where Shohei goes this offseason. You don't want to miss it. CJ Crone, he is making his second stint with the Angels. He came up and debuted with the Angels in 2014. This season, he's hitting 259 with 11 home runs and a 773 OPS. And he was injured for a good portion of the year. I have him on my fantasy team. But for his career, he's a 260 hitter. He has 186 career home runs, 599 career RBIs, and a 794 OPS. He was an all star last season for Colorado, where he hit 257 with 29 home runs and drove in 102 runs. Also included in this deal is Randall Gritchick, the longtime Cardinal and Blue Jay, signed with the Rockies. He's a free agent after this year. So is CJ Crone. Important to mention, they're both rentals. Uh, Gritchick this season is hitting 312 with 8 home runs, 27 RBIs, and a 869 OPS. Easily the best season of Gritchick's career by far. He's not hitting for the power numbers that he did in, like let's say, 2019 where he put up 31 home runs. But he went on a stint from 2015 all the way to 2021. Uh, even 2022, last year, he put up 19 home runs. His fewest home runs in that season was 2020 where he still put up 12 home runs in 55 games so Gritchick is a power hitting outfielder and really he's, he's been all right he's hit for more average this year less home runs but I think that's a fair trade-off for the Angels and for the Angels you're getting up your number eight ranked prospect Jake Madden he's a right-handed pitcher in a ball he's 21 years old with a 65 fastball 50 slider 50 changeup 45 control for an overall of 45 he needed Tommy John surgery um, coming out of high school so he went to college instead, and his stats this season in A-ball aren't too great. 5-4-6 ERA and 61 and a third innings pitch, 66 strikeouts, 39 walks, and a 1-5-9 whip. So again, his big problem are those walks. He has 39 walks in 64 innings. He's walking one almost every other inning. Also going over this trade is Mason Albright, another A-ball pitcher, left-hander, 20 years old. His grades are a 50 fastball, 50 curveball, 50 cutter, 50 changeup, 50 control for an overall 40. This season in A-ball, he has a 3.62 ERA and 14 starts, 79 and two-third innings pitched, 86 strikeouts to only 20 walks, a 1-2-3 whip, opponent batting average of 248. This is the best season of his uh, minor league career. When we talk about last season with three teams, 8.67 ERA and 12 starts, I mean 3.62 in 14 starts so far this season is much, much better. Mason Albright is going to climb up the rankings. But overall, the Angels are still being incredibly aggressive here. We saw them go out and get Giolito and Reynaldo Lopez. They got Eduardo Escobar. They're going out again and getting a first baseman and an outfielder to fill those holes. We talk about Taylor Ward just got hurt. He just has facial fractures on the IL. What do they do? They go replace him. And they're going from this farm system, which is fairly depleted. I go. I mean, first base too. Jared Walsh has not been the answer this season. Again, they got Mustakis, Eduardo Escobar. They still also haven't really been the answer. So the Angels, they're showing how aggressive they are. They're going out there. They're trading the farm away. This is probably going to hurt their farm in the long run. But like I said, they're desperate, desperate to make the playoffs this season. So the Angels, you've got to do what you got to do. And overall, for Crone and Gritchick. A number eight prospect and number 28 prospect, I don't think is all too much. I figured that Crone maybe would have netted something a little bit more, but we will ultimately see. Overall grades for this, I'm going to give the Angels a B, and I'm going to give the Rockies a B as well. I, this trade to me is fairly equal for both sides. I think fair value, Rockies probably could have gotten a little bit more, but eight prospect, 28 prospect, both pitchers. Really, the Angels looking at their top prospect, other than Ben Joyce and Caden uh, Dana, which I doubt they would have, the Angels would have moved anyone. Their best pitcher is Jake Madden. And for the Rockies, we obviously know Coors Field, no pitchers want to go there. So trading for pitchers, if you're the Rockies, I'd be stoked about that. Let me know what you guys think about this trade in the comment section below. As always, hit that like and subscribe. Come back for more videos and see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. It's delicious.